and welcome to another edition of We Debate. I'm Joe Munene. Tonight, We Debate, a fundamental question that humanity has grappled with over the ages. The question of God's existence. Does God exist? To many people, it's a question with an obvious answer. Yes, most definitely. But there are those for whom the belief in God is erroneous, a fallacy. They do not believe in the existence of God. Tonight, two debaters standing on the extreme opposing sides of this God question. Take to the stage. The discussion topic for tonight, we ask, does God exist? Our debaters are John Joroge, a Christian apologist on the affirmative side, and Harrison Mumia, President Atheist Society of Kenya on the negative side. John, Harrison, welcome to this debate. We have a debate question, and the question is, does God exist? Now, as part of the format of this show, we have a panel of jurors, and the jurors will be listening to your respective arguments and evaluating uh, on the strength and validity of those arguments. On the jury panel, we have Juror 1, Maurice Washira, a public policy researcher. Juror 2, Alison Jambi, a conscious life coach. And Juror 3, Pastor Eric Buluma. If God exists, the worst mistake any human being can make is reject God or to live as though God does not exist. There are many reasons that could be given for why the answer to our debate question is yes, we could. Matter, energy, and even space and time all came into existence a finite time ago. One of the most fundamental laws of thought and experience is this. You cannot get something out of nothing. So the origin of the universe points to a cause beyond itself. William Lane Craig summarizes this argument as follows. Whatever begins to exist has a cause. Premise number two. The universe began to exist, therefore the universe has a cause. I'd like to bring the jurors into the conversation. Uh, we will start from this end with Maurice. You will indicate the person to whom you are directing your question. Go ahead. Thank you very much. And thank you, Harrison and John, for passionately defending your positions. Uh, to go direct to the question, just to correct uh, or to make a point, uh, the last century, of course, was the bloodiest, but it's also the century that we had a lot of people in terms of population. So, if you do per capita, probably realize the centuries have equally been bloody. But my question is, you first started your debate, uh, Mr. John, you started your argument by saying that um, whatever begins to exist uh, has a cause. So, your argument is this, uh, God exists. So, if everything that begins to exist has a cause, so what caused God? And how do you move from everything that exists to exist has a cause? How do you move from that to that God must be the one I like, the Yahweh, and not any other God from India or from other centuries? And my number two question is, uh, you also started to, uh, to you started by also making a point that uh, if, uh, at, if God exists, the worst thing that someone can do is to live as if he does not exist. Now, looking at that uh, statement in context, don't you believe if God exists? Don't you think if God exists, then it is, and he thinks that human being believing in him is very important. Don't you think it's his duty to provide that evidence or to create a universe in such a way that we don't have to have this debate, debating whether he exists? It should be obvious, like the way I can say this is water. Don't you think God could just make that happen so that if he really cares about us believing in him, don't you think he can make it so obvious then we don't have to debate about him and we all have get convinced in the way he created the universe, we get convinced and then we move on to something else. Okay. All right, John. There are actually three questions in what you said. And the first one was uh, about uh, the 19th century, the 20th century being the bloodiest century in history, as, as Richard said. And uh, what, what you said is actually not true. That uh, if, we, if we take, uh, if we compare percentages with other centuries, we come to the same numbers. There isn't any other century where there was such an organized system of eliminating human beings as we had in the 20th century with gas chambers and all of that by the millions. We, we, that, that hasn't happened before. 
You can provide me with the evidence after this, but this is a historical fact. It's, it's not, it's not uh, something that I'm making up. Secondly, you, you said uh, if, if uh, everything that begins with this has a cause, what caused God? Well, God did not begin to exist. And if he did not begin to exist, the, the question doesn't even, even apply and to God. And everything that begins if to he, exist doesn't have to have a cause, because we have an example of something that began to exist without a cause. I do God. not. We do not have a... Okay, the universe began to exist. We can show that philosophically and scientifically. Mm -hmm. God did not begin to exist. So when you say everything that begins to exist has a cause, you are saying that everything that does not begin to exist may not have a cause, because maybe has always existed. And if God has always existed, he, does not, he, he did not begin to exist, he does not need a cause. So there is, it's a category mistake to ask that question. And a God who is a created God is not a God, that's a creature. So if there is a God, even if, if even as an atheist, you need to be able to grant that if, if God, if, if there is a God, he has to be a being that has always existed because a cause God or a God that was created or that began to exist cannot really be a God. To be, to be, God is, is a title. There are um, attributes that an entity that, that, is, that has, bears that title, God has to achieve. And one of those would be necessary existence. And so the, the, that question about uh, what caused God doesn't even begin to arise because a created God is not a God. And number two, uh, number three, you, you said uh, if God exists, that he should have provided evidence that is, uh, that, is, that, is, that is obvious. Well, there is a lot of evidence that is obvious. I have presented some here and it has not been responded to yet.